Hi, this is Phil Needham with Needham Ag Technologies. And today we'd like to talk about the Leaper TLBE90 flail mower, as you can see on a Kubota KX033-4 with angle blade and cab. This is very similar to the U35. Both machines have around 15.8 gallons per minute of auxiliary flow. The only difference is the U35 is a zero tail swing machine. The 33 is not and the U35 is fractionally heavier and slightly wider in the track base, the distance between the tracks by about six inches. So both very good machines. We've got a lot of experience with both machines on this specific uh, flail mower. So this is the Leaper TLBE90. It's built in Italy by the Leaper company. They've built around 25,000 of these mowers worldwide over the past 42 years in conjunction with the Willy Boulder company in Germany. So these are well-built machines. They use a lot of high technologies such as robot welders and laser cutters. So you can see the standards of manufacture and quality are very high. Whenever we sell flail mowers and we contact the, the customer, you know, the first thing they report is, boy, this thing's really well-built. They're well-engineered. They're high performance, they're good mowers. So they're also very safe especially when compared to a rotary mower. We get a lot of people that buy rotary mowers and then they buy one of ours because the rotary mowers tend to throw projectiles, especially if you work in near houses or vehicles or people, you know, they're very unsafe. There's the stickers on them that say, stay back two or 300 feet. It's not there for, for fun. It's there, it's, it's serious. They can throw dangerous projectiles. So the flail mower has many safety features that we'll discuss in a minute. We'll get to that. This mower also features the optional oscillating carriage. It weighs an additional 88 pounds over the 560 pounds for the TLBE90 with the Kubota coupler and hoses. But this machine, this mower, is actually very stable despite being fully extended perpendicular to the tracks with the blade up. You know, I can, I can kneel on this mower and descend it you know a little bit but i'm i'm bouncing up and down on this mower and it's still pretty stable so we've run this uphill downhill we've got quite a bit of experience with these style mowers on these machines and this is a good combination from a stability perspective in addition to an oil flow perspective these leaper tlbe series mowers are powered by a cassapa motor with an anti-cavitational block with a one-way valve so you can't uh, rotate the mower backwards by mistake. The feed line has to come in the bottom. The return line comes back out of the top. So make sure you've got the hydraulic hoses coupled correctly. We've actually got a separate video on YouTube which discusses the setup and operation of this mower. So if you're interested in more specific information on setting it up on these Kubota machines, this is the link at the bottom and what to look for to find that. So these are a good mower. Let's look at the bottom from a point of view of the features of the rotor and some of the safety features. So this is the business end of the Leaper TLBE90. It has a 37 inch cut width. We obviously have smaller mowers for smaller machines and larger mowers for much larger machines. They all come standard in this Leaper TLBE range anyway with these flails. They're held in place with a hex socket that you can see here. So when you have to replace the flails after approximately 200, maybe 250 hours, all you have to do is put a socket on the nut, take the bolt out and you can replace the flails. An important feature to extend the flail life is obviously the side skids at, at both ends. In addition to the rear roller that's height adjustable, that gives you the ability to float the mower across the ground in conjunction with the oscillating carriage that we'll discuss in a minute. These flails mulch really well, especially in conjunction with the stationary knife bar across the front. These are stationary knives which help mulch material much better. So let's look at some of the safety features. So you've got a heavy duty rubber flap across the front two sets of heavy chains across the front. 
You've got the rear roller as we've discussed with a scraper on it to keep it clean if you're operating in wet soil conditions. In addition to a rubber flap across the back. The good thing about these flail mowers is they tend to exit most of the material down and back. They're not throwing a lot of material out to the side. We sell a lot of these mowers to cities and municipalities and townships because the state ordinances that, that say they're not allowed to use or purchase rotary mowers because they're obviously a hazard. So they make them buy flail mowers simply because they're much safer. All of the Leaper mowers come with a good operator's manual. It talks about a lot of the safety features, operation and maintenance. It's 50 pages long. Lastly, let's discuss the oscillating carriage. Most people purchase the oscillating carriage. The few that don't often call and order it after the fact, which is fine as long as they get it. The big benefit of the oscillating carriage is it allows the mower to follow the ground much, much better compared to the same mower without an oscillating carriage. You've got approximately six inches of travel within this parallel linkage and it just lets the mower float along the ground with no operator input, at least within that six inch range. And that's especially important when mowing fully extended on undulating ground, because a lot of these smaller mini excavators don't have a lot of slewing torque, meaning, meaning if there's any friction at all between the, the mower and the ground, it just pops the relief valve and they don't rotate the machine at all and you have to raise the mower up to proceed forwards. So the oscillating carriage is really good at allowing the mower to float along the ground, takes the load off the operator having to make continual adjustments, and it obviously lets the mower follow the ground much better to give you a much more consistent cut height, again within the range of the oscillating carriage. So that's the Leaper TLBE90 on a Kubota KX033. If you've got any questions, uh, please contact us at Needham Ag. Thanks for watching.